Hey everyone, last time we talked, we talked about the short-term rental I bought in Kissimmee, right near Disney World. Let's talk about why I spent $10,000 to theme a room to look like a Harry Potter room. Now you haven't seen the room yet, let's see if I can call it out for you. Accio Potter. No, no, that's just Harry Potter. One more time. Accio Potter's Paradise. There's the Harry Potter room that we themed in our house. We actually made the six bedroom and turned this into a Harry Potter theme. Now you're asking yourself, Jason, why did you spend that money to do that? Is it gonna be worth it? Well, here's the deal. The guy who actually did this for me does amazing work. Did some analysis. There's 40,000 Airbnbs, short-term rentals around the Orlando area. Now I'm one of 40,000 rentals. Why are you going to pick me? So in this world, you need to stand out. So the way you stand out is different in each type of short-term rental market you're in. In this market, people want to experience Disney, want to experience Universal. I decided to go with a theme in this one so you can experience it even when you're at the house. That stat I said about 40,000, he also said only about 100 or so are actually themed in the house. So I'm not one of 40,000 now, I'm one of 100. So that makes my odds much better of being booked and booked for a higher rate. Now, the next step is you might be asking yourself, why Harry Potter? Harry Potter is at Universal, which is a little farther away from mine. So why not go with something like Princesses or Gaston or Minions or any of the other things out there? So there are a few factors I took into play, probably three, when I'm thinking about what to see in this room. One, I wanted to be fairly gender neutral. I wanted to have a theme in there that both boys and girls would like to stay in. That way, it's not attracting just one gender. Also, it has to be something that's gonna be popular for a given time frame. I don't want a blip on the radar or something that's really hot right now, but two years from now, nobody cares about it. Cause then I have to retheme the room and it's gonna cost me a whole lot of money again, which I don't wanna do. That is a bad investment. Harry Potter has been around for what, 20 years now? They're still making movies, the prequels at least. And I saw something on YouTube about HP9, but y'all can tell me in the comments about what's going on with that because I have no idea. The final thing that made me pick Harry Potter, my beautiful wife is an amazing Harry Potter fan. So loves the books, loves the movies. So it was that or Star Wars. And that kind of tipped us over the edge to go with the Harry Potter theme because of how much she loves it and how much she enjoys it. Because in these short-term rentals, you're gonna be there sometimes too, so you don't kinda of wanna enjoy the space you're in. Now, I'm not sleeping in a twin bed in that room, but it's still cool to peek my head in there and be like, wow, this room is really cool. So we'll go over the room more in depth later on. If you're liking this video, please subscribe below and like it. It would be wonderful for me. And leave some comments of what you think about the room. I will go through the room more in depth later on, but I wanna talk about why we would theme a room or why we would put a hot tub in Gatlinburg or something like that. It makes you stand out. That's the biggest thing you need to remember. You need to stand out in the short-term rental world because there are a lot of them out there right now. Talk to you guys soon. Keep an eye out for my flips, Airbnb stuff, and who knows what else. See you later.